Hey, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be reviewing this wig and kind of demoing it. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm not that great at wigs. <laughs> so it's all beginner friendly over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the actual wig and the products that were sent to me. Um, excuse my voice, I'm a little congested allergies so we're gonna go ahead and jump in first of all it comes in this super cute carrying case so here's the black like me and then it says it in the different languages as well and it has this cute little handle which I think everything needs so what you can do is just unzip it from here and we will go over the accessories and things that come in it. So first, it's some little stickers, cute. Stuff about the brand and just about blackness in Africa. And then it comes with a pamphlet to show you the different types of hair they have, the behinds, why they started it, all that good stuff, how to um, install your hair, best practices, all of that right there for you then they also give you this eye patch or not eye patch but what's this um eye mask eye sleeping mask self explanatory and then next they give this wig grip and i think that i'm not sure if these come together or if these come separately this is just what was sent to me so this is the wig grip and I'm gonna take it out. Ooh, everything feels so nice. So this is like a velvety type of filling along here. And then it has what looks like basically like a T of like skin tone, which I'm assuming is supposed to be like your scalp. And then it has the adjustable band back here, it's Velcro. So when you slap it on this way, you can go by your head size, boom. And now we get to the hairs. And so it comes in this, the wig, which has the lace right here. And it has the adjustable strap in the middle for like a more secure and snug fit. And then it also has two combs on the side. Um, and it looks like it has a little room for parting. So let me flip this inside out so I can show. So it has the two combs over on each side, which would be like for here and here. And then the middle, it looks like you have a little room for parting. So all of this has the lace. So it gives you a little to work with and then it has a comb in the very back. So what I'm going to do first is try this on with the grip. I think that you're able to do this without a wig cap. I'm pretty sure that's the purpose of having um, the actual grip. But I'm going to keep my wig cap on just because my hair has been super fragile lately. So yeah, I'm just going to keep mine on, but I'm still going to use this. So I'm going to show you the difference actually, because I hear that these are supposed to be amazing. I've never used one before. So I want to see the difference, like what it actually does versus if you don't have it. So we can go ahead and take this wrap off. Oh, and let me... Take my hair was in a ponytail back here. So I'm gonna take that out. And I had to lay my edges just because my hair was in a wrap and I wanted my edges to look nice. So I don't know if this wig necessarily warrants having your edges laid or not, but we shall see. So I'm gonna start off by leaving this band basically as big as it can be or as long as it can be because my head is a little, it's a little big. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure this part and then throw it on. Ooh, 
gua. Already, I feel like she is super cute. I'm looking over in the viewfinder so I can see because I don't have a mirror in here. But this is cute already. Okay. So I would want to do some mild manipulation to this wig. I want to make it less uniformed. Um, but I am actually enjoying the curl and the pattern. But I just like, you know, I like the look of a little, to make it look a little more natural. But this definitely looks like I blew my hair out and then, well, I blew somebody else's hair out because my hair is not this full and not this long. But <laughs> I blew my hair out and then did like a perm rod set. So it's all bouncy and the hair is extremely soft. It feels so nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. So where the part is up here, you can already see the difference of like my scalp and then where the wig cap is because the wig cap is back here, but it also does keep sliding back, but I don't have any of the combs or anything in. I just wanted to throw this on to see what it was going to look like. And then bring this lace up so we can look like. Look at what it looks like when it's just like laid all the way down. Yeah, I really like this. She has really good bounce. It looks very natural. It actually feels natural too. Like it feels like some good moisturized hair. Mm. What I'm gonna do, even before I cut the lace, I just wanna see what the difference is. So now that I brought the lace up, the wig does feel a lot more secure. I do feel it sliding back though. But with the band, I know that that's helpful. So I'm gonna take this off on this grip and secure. And this thing is not moving. Even when I was trying to like pull it up, <laughs> it's, it's not going anywhere. So that's a tail in itself, but let's see what happens. I'm throwing this part again. Oh my lord, this feels like it is going to stay already. So I can definitely feel a difference. And once again, I don't have the combs or anything in. And I did not feel it move. Not even, not even a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace real quick and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like with the lace cut. I cut that lace off and this is giving real scalp. I know that a lot of companies pride themselves on having like the invisible scalp and the HD scalp and all of that. I believe that this company is more about like recreating real hair. So like, like creating hair that looks natural, that looks real. I think that that's their main focus. And I think that the scalp is just, you know, like the little cherry on top, like the little sprinkles and cherry. But they did that on the scalp. Like, like this looks like scalp. And the only thing that kind of gives it away is like, the slight discoloration between my scalp color or whatever this would be and the lace. So that's the only discrepancy which I can go in and do a little concealer, do a little powder. So I've been told, I've never tried it before, but I'm gonna do it <laughs> to see if it will allow it to match it a little more. And even if it doesn't, this is good to me. I never want to wear wigs out most of the time unless I have like some type of wrap or some type of hat or something that's covering the part because the part is always what is a dead giveaway. Like I feel like you could be walking down the street and somebody could just look right here and be like wig. That's wig. And I don't necessarily like that I want it to look as natural as it can and I feel like I would be 
a thousand percent comfortable walking down the street if I just threw this on. My face is more full, so I feel like I need to have a little more structure around it just because my face is so who that I need a boom, pop, 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 pop on the side. Like, I feel like if my face was more like it wouldn't matter because my face would be that structure and then the hair could like just kind of free fall. So I definitely want to see what I can do. But until then, if you think that I'm going to wait to wear this until I get it styled or cut, <laughs> no. But I would recommend this hair for beginners, advanced people. Like I know somebody who knows about wigs would tear this wig up. Like it would be amazing. Um, cause they would be able to go ahead if they needed to and cut everything themselves and turn it into like the ultimate wig. But for me right now, like I love how big it is. I love how fluffy it is. I absolutely love this wig grip. When I say my hair is not going anywhere, like I'm used to if I don't have, um, like the combs in or anything, I'm used to just like pulling my hair back like just being like oh and pull this wig off no like your head <laughs> and i'm not even exaggerating like i'm literally like you can see i'm pulling the hair and it's not going anywhere i know that probably look crazy but it's truly like it's not budging and that is from the wig grip so if you do get this hair and if it doesn't come with the wig grip get them together I, i'm just blown away with this whole presentation like I love oh I keep looking at the viewfinder and I don't need to because then I'm just like oh who's she <laughs> who's that and I can even come up out of this jacket now like I feel like it's you know it didn't warm me up <laughs> I don't even know if I was too excited to even tell you the brand of it I feel like I didn't even say it but the brand's name is Red Swan and I just, I am a fan. Like I, I am definitely, definitely a fan of um, Rat Swan. They did an amazing, amazing job with these wigs and I'm super duper impressed. But that is all for me today. So if you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Also, go ahead and leave what you want to see from me. If that's more life, if that's more skincare, if that's more makeup, because I have been getting a few makeup requests, so I'm gonna do a video here soon. But um, just let me know what you would wanna see from me so that I can create it. And if that's all, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.